Hello, this is one named Badger here, and uh, you can tell what I'm going to be doing here by the name of the video. I'm going to be running around the entire island, just like how I biked around the entire island. That took about 45 minutes to do that, and you bike at probably the equivalent of like 40 miles an hour in this game. Um, 30, 40 miles an hour probably at least. Um, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Running though, you know that's slow. You only run like maybe the equivalent of like 15 miles an hour. So this is probably going to take like two hours. I won't be able to finish it tonight. Um, because I got some, something going on at midnight. Um, but, uh, I had enough time to do this entire thing. Um, and I was just about to start. Um, when I saw this one person on the boardwalk staring me down, I went to flip him off when I was in my car. And I and I had my hand pulled out. I could have sworn, but it, for some reason I pulled out a pistol and shot one shot. Didn't even hit him. Cops responded. I hid in a good place far away from where it happened, and they somehow found me. No clue how. And uh, led me. Uh, they ended up killing me. They impounded my car. Went to get it back. I didn't know you could just pay a fee and it led me on at least a 30 minute chase where they would shot out like the two tires on my right side my car was near destruction it was smoking it was just spinning around the entire time and um, and ended up getting killed there and then that's where I learned that you could pay a small fee of just two hundred fifty dollars which I decided to do so it put me back probably, it ended up being probably 45 minutes that it put me back. And I was just about to begin and just because I accidentally pulled out a pistol instead of my hand, it set us back 45 minutes. That's stupid. I mean, you, you want to have fun when you're playing this game. You shouldn't have something where you're just stuck doing that for 45 minutes. It's ridiculous. So anyways, now we're back. Um, I brought my 9F Cabrio last time. Hey, there's one right there. Oh wait, wait, is, is that one? It looks like one. Let's see. Oh no, that's a... Oh shoot, sorry. That's like a, a Tesla Roadster. Which is also like a Lotus. That's cool. It's a nice car. I might get one once I have more money. Um, And actually I think I have... Yeah, I have a crap load of cash on me. I'm going to quickly put that in the bank before I go on this. I hope they didn't take too much cash from me when they were killing me. Okay, money, services, bank, menu, deposit, all of that. So yeah, right now I used to be a billionaire. Rockstar said no, we don't like billionaires. Even though I got my money legit, my friend gave it to me. He didn't get it legit though. But I, I still got it legit. $127,311. That's all I have now. So I'm a ways away from buying that apartment. Only I've been told there's a new duplicating glitch. That's all I'm going to say though. If I do find out how to do it, I won't post a video. Nobody should because then Rockstar will see where the problem is and they will fix it. And... I like Rockstar, I like this game, but I hate how they have to fix every single little thing. I mean, we're just trying to have fun and get our things quickly. Um, I, I came from my mom, where'd you come from? Okay, anyways. So we're going to start same place that we started the bike race. I parked my car, my truck under the, um, the bridge right there. And uh, that way it doesn't rain on it while we're jogging, even though it's going to rain on us. Even though I just noticed I messed up. We're wearing the same outfit that we wore on the bike thing. What's up with that? So we got to change that. Um, how do you do that? Uh, is it inventory? Accessories? No. Let's see. 
Okay, let's let's go with like a bunch of black stuff, maybe. Huh. Only that's like all that we can do right now. Huh. Well, that's things that we can't do that, but oh well, I guess we'll just wear the same stuff this time. Oh no, don't want to do that. Okay. Alright, let's just go ahead and start. It's night time, sun's go gone down. Alright, we start at 6 minute point in this episode. It's going to take a long time. It's going to probably be done over two sessions. It's going to take a long, long time. Now, I said this at the beginning of the bike video, and I'll say it again now. I don't know how the commentary is going to be on this, considering it's going to take a long time. I can only talk about so many things. Some of them might be things going on on my channel. Some of them might be things going on in the game, or in life, or whatever. Only the bike one, I ended up actually having um, commentary going probably about the whole time, so that was good. I don't know about this time though, especially since I um, talked about a good amount of things of um, going on on the channel there. But something I'll go ahead and say right now is, of course this is one of my first videos using my new blue snowball USB microphone and I'm loving it it has good quality I still gotta adjust the settings a little bit um, so that, that's something just with time I'll get better at um, the sound quality and stuff. Also, another thing I'm going to talk about is uh, on Minecraft, VGM City is uh, finally kind of back in its normal city mode. It hasn't been in that mode for, it's been probably over a year since it's been in a regular city mode. And the regular city mode is when it's put on survival and normal, like, kind of citizens get to ooh, oh I don't want to get hit get to go into the game you know and live their citizen life oh I didn't notice this store here I don't think you can go in though no you can't no, that's cool same place it is in GT I mean not GTA um the nightclub Los Angeles there's a gas station at that point too Wee. Okay, so we're gonna run on the side here. It's gonna take a long time. Also, um, something else I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a point around this corner to quickly get off of the road. Kind of oh, sweet, and there it is. My stamina is all the way up. Heck yeah. Um, I was talking to a friend before this, and he even said, dang, your stamina is gonna get upgraded a lot. From that, but actually, it looks like it's as high as it can go now. Um, so I need to set a checkpoint. Now we have already gone from here to here, but that still took, let's see, about three minutes. It's, it's going to take a while. So checkpoint is going to be set up here. Nope. Um, let's say like. Uh, Right there, we gotta get some ammo anyways. Okay. It's gonna be a good workout for my thumb. Watch my A button, it might be like squeaky after this. If that can happen, I'm not sure if it can, but maybe. My 
thumb's probably gonna be squeaky. But yeah, so the citizens can be in city mode and get to live their normal lives in the city. Which is cool, because, you know, it's a city. Kind of an RPG city. You get to, you could just uh, start out by living um, at home and not having a job or business or anything. But of course you won't have any type of income. Or you can get, uh, you can start out by having a business and living like in the back of your business. Um, or maybe even like paying rent or something. Somewhere like the apartments or something until you run out of, well, actually no, if you have a business, if you're making money, you can do that. Um, or you can get a house and have a job, which you'll only get so much money, but of course, eventually at some point, you know, if you have a good business, you'll have enough to have both business and house. If you have a house and a job, you eventually have enough to get your own business or something. Or you can just have the job and just save up money for, I don't know, some of the events that happen in the city or whatever. Like the concerts, once they'll start costing money in the city again. Also about money, before my money system was diamond is a dollar, gold is ten dollars, and uh, I said diamond, iron is a dollar, gold is ten dollars, diamond is a hundred, and uh, blaze rods were fifty cents, gas tears were quarters, and emeralds were a thousand. But then, when I changed, when I added emeralds and for a thousand, I thought, you know what, I can, I actually know a better money system and that money system is um, paper you can, there's actually bills in the game now um, one dollar five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar fifty dollar and a hundred dollar bills and what I do for those is I take a piece of paper and I put it into an anvil I take the entire stack actually and then I put a certain enchantment depending on the value of the bill um, onto the bill obviously and then I change the name to how much it's worth so like your hundred dollar bill will have like protection for enchantment or whatever and um, and to do an entire stack of those bills right now it costs 326 enchantment levels now, you really the easiest way would just be to steal it from somebody, which obviously you can't do. So yeah, it's a good, it's a lot better of a system than just diamonds and stuff and also when people had diamonds and iron and stuff they could like they could just take their what, like 25 to 28 iron something like that and make a full set of armor iron armor when really it should cost at least a hundred dollars in the city and it got to a point where we had to set the prices a little low but you know still more than what it would cost to make it on your own which you weren't allowed to and it was hard to, you know, distinguish, like, who bought the items and who just made them. But uh, now with this new money system and diamonds and gems and all those not being allowed or just being super expensive, you have to, you know, now you have to buy the items. Where's, I don't know why I don't have a checkpoint. Maybe because technically I'm not on the road. Maybe. That's weird. I don't know, maybe the GPS system's broken or something. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so not only do you now have to buy them. Oh, excuse me, why? But now that we have anvils, we can actually put a name on the iron, I mean on the armor or weapon or tool or whatever you bought. I looked away from the screen there for a sec. Um, we can actually put a name on it. And then, or you can, you know, you can say it's from uh, Bobby's Tool Shop or whatever the name of the place is. 
actually it's technically it's owned by me so woman badgers weapons tool shop or something or you can put like a serial number on it or both and then so if you see someone with armor and you're not sure if they bought it then you can ask to check their armor and if it doesn't have a name on it then oh you didn't buy it from here and then for the armor that's already been sold I can just change the name of it for free just like uh, the, the new money system people just turn in their money and get the new money but yeah so that's a new system I'll be having a video on that probably soon or it'll be featured in a minecraft video or something Pro I'm gonna have a new city update coming out soon but yeah alright so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right now of this run right here by this bush see you next time I'm gonna do short episodes to make it easier to upload see you next time